So for now, sorry to be so basic, but down here, if you can see that, and again, you can't control focus, unfortunately, during this process, what you can do is change the cameras. Hello and welcome back. And today I want to talk about live streaming with the new Synology Surveillance live broadcasting application. If you do have Synology Surveillance Station software, you may have noticed in the latest release for 8.2 that there is now the ability to stream directly to YouTube via a live broadcasting system. Now, it isn't you know, as detailed as the live feed, but what it does is allow you to select one of your cameras inside your myriad of different cameras with your Synology NAS and make it stream directly to YouTube as a live stream. Now, the more astute of you may have already noticed that this is an offline live stream. This is largely because, one, there's difficulties with regards to responding to your comments, and two, I'm gonna have a lot of difficulty interacting with you at all, because unlike when I normally use YouTube and with the live streams, this time I'm looking directly into a camera. And I don't really have much of a visual interface as well as a big delay when using a laptop to view this. So I've kept this as an offline live stream just to show you that this can be done, but not really to interact with you, you know, directly to point to point. Now, what else can I tell you about the live streaming functionality? Well, not only did it support the ability to turn any of your cameras, and I've got two here laid out, um, to turn them into a live broadcasting camera for surveillance, but also that it supports that new live cam feature for uh, Android and iOS. What that means is the ability to turn your mobile phone into an, I I I um, an IP camera, which again is pretty good for those of us that have old phones knocking around, which we can then install the Android or iOS application on that phone and then make that phone an accessible camera for our surveillance platform. It will use up one of your camera licenses, but it's still very usable indeed. And here in the live stream, that means I can now use my phone camera to live stream to YouTube. It's not pretty. I'm sure like the time and the date or the frames per seconds on screen and the frames per second have to be lowered depending on the quality of your camera for the live broadcast. So in the case of this, I've lowered this to normal 1080p, but it's, I've lowered it to 10 frames per second because once I increased it to 30 and higher, I saw some real bad streaming behavior there from the camera and the live streaming app, uh, the live camera app onto the live streaming platform. Um, you can use modern and old cameras. Right now I'm using a very new camera, a Pixel XL2. And in fact, if we bring this around, I'll be able to show you um, the user interface of the surveillance platform. And if we go to the bottom, we can see that there. I hope you can see that quite clearly. But if we go to the live view, you will be able to see both of those cameras in operation. So if we zoom out a little bit, there I am on the other camera. That beep was the QNAP nearby. And up there, we have a RioLink C2 Pro camera. And that one is the one that we're going to be moving over to during this live stream. So for now, sorry to be so basic, but down here, if you can see that, and again, you can't control focus, unfortunately, during this process, what you can do is change the cameras. So you go there, select the other camera, save, and now it switches the live stream over to your second camera. And during this live stream, of course, we've moved over to a general IP camera, and that IP camera is designed to be on for greater lengths of time. The real Link C2, it can go up to 1080p recording, got five megapixel camera, but the frames per second during something like this will dip to 10 frames per second. So you can probably see very choppy behavior in my movements. But again, the ability to live stream um, a surveillance camera does have a multitude of different uses. Don't get me wrong, you might use, in most cases, a normal camera for streaming. But what if you're doing a launch event or a countdown to something and you already have lots of cameras in place or you've got a launch date or a launch event for your brand, your business, or your new product, something like this can be useful. And of course, if something's happening at a given location where there's IP cameras and you want a fast, quick, easy way to share that footage with someone, you can, you can send links and sometimes they need to have proprietary flash software or you can just send a link to YouTube as a stream, as a private stream, such as I'm doing right now, so no one can see it but people that have that link. And YouTube will then take the hit when it comes to the hosting and the providing and basically the streaming of it. So it does make things a great deal easier to use a live streaming platform. And of course, after the video, this recorded footage is then stored onto YouTube, which is what I'm gonna be doing after this video, 
to edit it ever so slightly, chop it together and bung it for you guys on YouTube. But this has been how to live stream and how it comes across on the Surveillance Station platform. It's an available app completely for free in Surveillance Station 8.2. And once you enable that, it is incredibly user friendly. There's like two options. Just remember, you've got to have a YouTube with a live streaming uh, broadcast tick on your account to so do bear that in mind but otherwise thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this don't forget to click like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this and found it useful and i'll see you on the next video